your first television, I've got to mention that because um, I was a young teenager at the time and um, I, I came across this show on television called The, called the Tripods. And uh, being a young teenager, I was in love with every girl that appeared on the screen in that show, and you were one of them. So uh, when I saw that that was your first television, I was I was thrilled. So um, what what can you? T- I have to ask you about the tripods. What can you tell us about that? Well, um, that was one of my first jobs out of drama school. Um, it was fantastic, partly because it was the BBC, um, and in those days it felt like they had money. So as a consequence, we sp- we filmed some of it in Manchester and then it's like, right, we're all going off to Switzerland now. It was unbelievable. So we all went off to Switzerland um, in this beautiful hotel and we filmed, um, we filmed, so there's Lisa Maxwell, John Shackley um, uh, and Kerry. And we... It just it just seemed a kind of glorious, easy shoot. You know, I'm sure behind the scenes it wasn't. Um, but I couldn't believe it. I kind of thought, oh, my gosh, you know, this if if I could continue with this job is, an, is amazing. Not not that job, but I mean, being an actor. Um, but it was it was it was very uh detailed you know the costumes were very and the makeup it was very um it was a children's show and yet it was really um well thought out and of course the books are 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 are, um I think probably we didn't know the books at the time you would have known if you were a sci-fi but they weren't known um but the books were fantastic. Um, we filmed also, we filmed at a, um, the games. Do you remember the games? At one point, I remember filming in a in a dog stadium. Where would that have been? I think it yeah. was in Manchester. Yeah, yes. that was a dog stadium, was it? It, it yeah. looked like a real stadium. It was great. <laughs> yeah, um, and I think so. I mean, it was it was really. And then, and then the, another funny th- thing happened on that job was we had a great guy called David Innes Edwards, and he was, in my mind, he was just the guy who drove us around. I think he was probably the first. And I met him many years later with Peter on. I think Peter was filming at home with the Braithwaite's, and I was like, "Oh, David, are oh, you were driving on this show?" And he's like. Oh, Oh, I'm the director now. <laughs> so so he he'd sort of gone, you know, kind of gone his career had progressed, but he he was great at the time, just you know, and I was good friends with Lisa Maxwell. It was amazing. Yes, it was. And in fact, someone's trying to get some kind of reunion together this summer here. I'm in touch with someone in New Zealand. Apparently it was it was much loved in New Zealand. I, I, it must have travelled in a way that we weren't aware of. It was paid for by Channel 7 Australia. So partly. they could, partly, yeah. that's oh, yeah, good. probably what funded your trip to uh, Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> good. <laughs> that's great. No, but yes, it's probably also it. what sent the production broke, so you couldn't film Series 3. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I don't know why they cancelled it. It was, it was a shame. Bizarre, because, bizarre thing. Yes. Yeah. Because it was successful, and you know, people watched it. But well, wow. Dwayne talks about it all the time. It's still successful to me, even though it's incomplete. But, <laughs> yeah, it was amazing music. I remember that. Who did the music? Um, the name's gone from my mind, but yes, you're right. Yeah. It was it was incredible. Is it Ken Freeman? Was that his name? Mm-hmm. No? Oh yeah, Ken Freeman. Is that was that him? Yeah. <laughs> If you enjoyed what you heard in this clip from the Sirens of Audio podcast, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell so you never miss out on another episode from us. And if you want to find out more about us, including our back catalogue of episodes, you can head over to sirensofaudio.com.